A final wave goodbye and a good look at Earth from this viewpoint. If all goes to plan, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Konienko will attempt to stay at the International Space Station for one year. It will be the longest continuous stay anyone has had aboard the ISS, 250 miles above Earth. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft takes around six hours to make the journey from liftoff in Kazakhstan. On board, strapped in and helmets on, the crew switched to using their suit oxygen as final checks are made. Ramping up. And liftoff. The year in space starts now. Scientists hope to better understand how the human body reacts to living in microgravity for extended periods. The main reason we're doing it is so we can learn more about the biomedical effects and more importantly develop countermeasures against those effects so that we can one day send a crew to somewhere like Mars. Uh, the reason is that there are a lot of negative things that happen to the human body when you get into space and that's where the, the research is needed to figure out how to deal with all that. Scott Kelly's identical twin brother Mark Kelly will also be participating in the study. He himself was an astronaut but retired in 2011. The pair will be used in a comparative study, one on Earth, one in space. In the 90s, cosmonauts spent more than a year aboard the old Russian Mir station, but NASA said it lacked the sophisticated medical equipment and program nutrition that will be used during this mission. Kelly and Kornienko are joined by Gennady Padolka, who will return to Earth in six months. By then, he will have spent 878 days in space, more than any other person. With plans to send humans to Mars already underway, it's hoped this mission will give scientists more information about how the human body copes during longer stays in space. So there is mechanical contact. Katerina Mo, BBC News. Everything is fine.